This is the first question on the assessment 9.3, the, the translational and torsional equilibrium, um, which is probably the hardest assessment all year, or at least certainly they did, this is the one they did the worst on last year. Um, and so let's just take a look at this thing. Notice that um, in this case, we've got uh, F1, and I'm going to guess, I believe incorrectly, okay, that F1 is an upward force and that F2 is an upward force. Okay, now I do believe that it's such that this person's heavy enough that, that uh, F1 is actually downward, okay? And I'll show you how you know that it's downward. So this is F1 and there's F2, right? Then there is the force of gravity of the beam, right? So we've got 26 times G, right? So whenever I write a G like that, I mean that's just shorthand for 9.81. Okay, so 26 G and it's going to, torque is going to matter here, so... Let's see, F1 is at zero from the left side. F2 is 1.8, right? Because it says that right there, okay? Um, and the beam is 6.8 meters long, right? So that means that the center of the beam is at 3.4, right? That devilry was one half of 6.8, right? So uniform beams, the force of gravity, and I think every assessment has a uniform beam, right? Uh, the force of gravity is right at the center of the beam uh, for the sake of torque, right? And then, uh, then we've got this person, right? We've got 52 times 9.8, and uh, let's see. They are 0.3 meters from the right side. Okay, so from the left side, they are 6.5 meters, right? And then that <clears throat> was 6.8 minus 0.3, okay? That's where I got that. Okay, and uh, this was the center of the beam. Okay, now you, I've given you places where I sort of want you to set up your torque expression. Obviously, I've written a bunch of stuff here, so I'm not setting it up there. I'll set it up right here. And that's fine if you do that, okay? So let's set up our torque expression. Our torque expression, we're going to torque about this point right there, okay? Um, and so I'm going to say 0 times F1. Okay, and then this torque would tend to make this beam go anti-clockwise. So this torque due to F2 is anti-clockwise, so I'm going to say negative. So negative um, 1.8 times F2, okay? And that negative is because it's anti-clockwise. This is zero because it's right at the pivot point, right? And then I have a positive torque. This, this force is going to tend to make the beam, about that point, make it rotate clockwise. So it's positive, right? So positive 3.4 times 26 times 9.8. That's what that G is, right? Okay, and then this, the, the gravity on this person is going to tend to make this beam go clockwise about that point, right? So I go plus, and then the distance is 6.5 times 52G. And that's all my torque, so that equals zero, okay? Now, let's just go through this thing again, right? That's clockwise, that's why it's positive, okay? Because this force of gravity of the beam itself, if you had no other supports and that was a hinge, this beam would go clockwise because of that force. And likewise, this one is also clockwise, okay? The distances are zero for this guy because he's right at the edge. Uh, 1.8 because it says 1.8. Okay, 3.4 because that's the center of the beam. That's half of 6.8, right? And that's 26 times 9.81 is the force of gravity, right? And then plus uh, 6.5, that is 6.8 minus 0.3. <clears throat> okay, now let's set up the Y expression. Y is just, remember Y, translational um, equilibrium doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where the object is. So let's set this guy up here. Uh, we've got positive F1 plus F2 minus 26 
times 9.81, right, minus 52 times 9.81 is 0. Okay, now there's obviously there's two unknowns, right? So we assume that f1 and f2 are upwards. Um, and I tend to do that even if I know darn well it's downward. I tend to make it upward. And then uh, the math will let me, will show me that it's actually downward. Okay. Um, so we've got two upward forces. We've got the force of gravity on the beam and the person. And all of that adds to zero, right? Remember in translational uh, equilibrium problems, uh, all we do is we just hit up forces and down forces, right? We don't need to worry about where they're exerted on the beam. And then notice that there's nothing acting in the x direction at all. This is straight up or straight down, straight up or straight down. This is straight down, straight down, right? So if it's a level beam like that, um, and even if it's not, I suppose sometimes, right? Uh, there's no part of this force that's actually in the x direction. So all we have is torque and y, okay? This, because we uh, used strategery, right, uh, this variable drops out, and this F2 becomes the only variable in this equation. So I'm going to solve this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this times this times 9.81. So 3.4 times 26 times 9.81, okay, plus 6.5 times 52 times 9.81 is 4182.984, and then I'm going to divide by 1.8. And I get 2323.88. Okay, the fact that I got a positive number, and, and I guessed a positive number, okay, means that it's up. Now, if you look at the picture, there's really no conceivable way that F2 could be anything but up, right? Okay, but if it's a pivot point, right, it's possible that it um, that this could be a downward force, right? Okay, so let's set this thing up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that 2323.88 and plug it in for uh, F2 here, right? So this formula becomes F1 plus 2323.88 minus 26 times 9.8 minus 52 times 9.8 is zero. Now we can do math here because this, plug that guy in, right? So that's the way it always works. You plug in the, the thing you figure out in here, plug it into that equation and then solve for F1. So let's see, I'm gonna go, I guess I'm gonna go 26 times 9.81 plus 52 times 9.81. And then I'm actually going to subtract that, the answer I just got. And I get minus 1558.7, okay? So F2 is, or F1, sorry, is minus 1558.7 newtons, okay? So since, that means it's down, by the way. We guessed up, and if you get a negative number when you guess upwards, right? That means it's actually a downward force. Okay, so F1 is with sig figs 15560 newtons down. F2 is with sig figs 2320 newtons up. There we go. Now in this space right here, I'm going to draw a little dog. Oops, arf, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that, hope that helps.